Tonight, the Westlake High School football team will be playing with heavy hearts. Their teammate and friend, Julius Papinga, unexpectedly died this week after suffering an apparent asthma attack. Julius was just 17 years old. And joining us now is Julius's sister, Jasmine. Uh, we are so sorry for your loss, and we appreciate you being here. Um, why don't Thank you tell you. us a little bit about your brother? Julius was just the most kind, loving, supportive, considerate person ever. Um, he'd always put other people before himself. Um, it's just amazing the impact he had on other people because obviously when I went public and I made a post on Instagram to let people know the situation, what's happening, kind of give people hope. That was my message I wanted to give. The amount of stories, memories, even from parents of his teammates I got was incredible. And it's been helpful hearing the memories of girls in his classes who he helped with homework or a friend he supported on the team who wasn't feeling well. He was just always such a loving person all around to me and both my little sisters and my parents. We obviously miss him so very much, but he was just the most sweet and loving, caring, mm -hmm. compassionate person ever. And Jasmine, we know your family is from a very tight community, and we know that the community is coming together to honor Julius, especially with tonight's football game. Can you talk a little bit more about that? So I know this week they actually had a memorial at the um, football stadium, and they were able to display his name on the scoreboard. And they had signs out there. They had people speak about him in memories. And I know for tonight, I actually was talking to some of the players. They're all ready to go. They're all ready to fight for Julius tonight, leave it all on the field. I actually just got a picture from one of my friends who is still at Westlake. And the teachers today are all wearing Pepinga Westlake shirts at school. And um, yeah, they're going into this game with obviously heavy hearts, but I want them to go into it with Let's do it for Julius. We got to have to put the emotions away for a minute, but let's have the best game we're ever going to play and leave it on the field. because That's what Julius would have wanted for him and for the team. And that's what I want to. It just must be so touching to see uh, how, what a big impact he's had on so many people and, and to see them rally tonight, even with those heavy hearts and play for him. Uh, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm really lucky to be in this Westlake community because right now I'm not able to be at home in California with my parents since I am in college. I just started my first week. Um, and it's incredible that this community has been able to come together to support my family, even though I'm not able to be there right now. But it's it's insane. I, I, I really can't believe it. And I'm just so lucky to have been in this environment and to ha for him to have been in this environment. Well, Jasmine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And again, uh, please accept our sympathies for your loss. Thank you.